Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my first vlog ever, so please be gentle with me. But basically it is December 16th, it is 6.45am in London and I still have outstanding orders waiting to go out which is not ideal so late in the game but the Royal Mail cut up for Christmas delivery is in two days time so I just decided to document that last hurdle on the way of like getting everything out and ready I went to bed at 4 a.m. so I only got a couple hours sleep I already had to work through the night twice this month but it's nothing a lot of coffee can solve and I like to take my coffee to the living room. It is however December at 6am in London so in spite of my best attempts to make the room a bit brighter and a bit warmer it was still plenty dark and plenty cool but yeah I just had my coffee on the sofa and I used the time to go over my to-do list and try to make sense of it. And yeah, I decided to kick the day off with candles because they're the easiest to make when you still have a sleep. And also, I make them in the kitchen, which is the brightest room in the house because we have big windows overlooking the garden. So I brought down my guillotine from the office and started cutting off the labels. I print my labels on A3 paper and then I use the guillotine to cut them to fit. This saves me a lot of money. This is the difference between paying 10p a candle or 50p if I had the printers cutting these for me. But you know the old saying, what good is a candle label without a candle to stick it to? So yeah, I went into the kitchen and I've made the candles. And yeah, I just love sticking the labels on the candles and seeing it all come together. I also cut the leads and I'm gonna take you up to the office and show you how. This is my cutter. It comes with a centering tool and a knife. I'll leave a link down below on Amazon because it is brilliant and it saves me a lot of money. Basically, I use the centering tool to find the center of my label and then I just slot the knife in and cut it out. My one exception when it comes to saving money on the labels is I'm not going to be printing them on cheap stock, I'm going to be splurging and getting the waterproof stock because waterproof labels just look that much better and also the ink is not going to rub up over time. My first couple of batches were on just plain sticker paper and when I took them to convention and brought home the leftovers, by the time I got home some of the ink was rubbing off and you don't want that because people tend to hold on to candles for a while before they burn them all the way through and also maybe they're gonna want to hold on to the tin so yeah definitely invest in good stock for your labels but if you can cut them yourself and save some money I encourage you to do so and now that all of my candles are ready I can go into the workshop and finish painting bath bombs I've sold so many of these little ghosties this year. They come in three fragrances, orange, palma violet, and apple, and you guys have been loving them. Uh, I was struggling to keep them in stock, but this is the very last batch for 2023, so I'm just gonna be painting these. And yeah, it kind of feels like I spend the majority of December painting bath bombs. It's definitely the most time-consuming element in my business. Mm, but I did get to do some nice things this December other than work. Uh, I did get to take my niece and nephew to Winter Wonderland and it was brilliant. I swear every year it gets bigger. I just wanted to find the ice rink because I told them so much about it and I could not. <laughs> it's that big. Eventually I had to give up. We were there for seven hours. But that's alright because the first thing we stumbled upon was a ghost train and it was the absolute highlight of our visit. It was very retro and it kind of reminded me of Stephen King's Joyland or like a Scooby-Doo episode. The attention to details was spot on. It had like a small cemetery at the front. It had those big spiders that were holding onto the doom buggies. And even the tokens were stylized, which like stop marks for that. The inside was pretty fun as well with like animatronics jumping at you, very retro. Oh, it also reminded me of Fun House. I love that movie to bits. Anyway, yeah, definitely the highlight of our visit. Another thing I got to do this December, which was such good fun, is to finally participate in one of the Hell on Earth events in Cardiff. We drove up to their Xmas market to trade there and we arrived in a minus 2 degree weather. Luckily we were trading indoors, I salute the people who were trading outdoors that day, but it looked like everyone were having a real good time regardless. And let me tell you, this is one of the best events I've ever been to. 
it was just like it had the best vibe it had like such nice people and yeah really happy we got to do that so I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up and paint his little Santa hat and also his eyes This is probably the hardest part because it's black paint and the bath bomb is white and you only get one chance at this so I have to work slowly and carefully but yeah, very happy with how they turned out. I shrink wrapped them all and took them down to the office and now I get to do the fun part which is just bringing it all together and packaging it so I can then dispatch the orders. Now I'm gonna be honest with you and admit that after a while I gave up on the decorative paper and the stamps because the mail is being picked up at 5 p.m. and I wanted to make that cut. The sooner I get things out, the more likely they are to arrive on time for Christmas. So yeah, I'm just gonna assume that people prefer to have their orders on time than to have them all fancy-like. Another stressful moment was when I realized I don't have enough packing peanuts and boxes for all of the orders, so I had to place some emergency orders on Amazon. But yeah, I'm happy with how everything came together. Here are the last orders of 2023. And yeah, it was too much for me to carry. I didn't have the car, so I had to walk to the post office twice. But can I really complain when the weather is so flipping beautiful? Let's all take a moment to appreciate the gargoyles. But after a while, it looked like it may rain. So I had to pick up my pace, and yeah, as soon as I got to the post office with the last batch of orders, it did start raining, but I managed to give them all to the nice gentleman there and do a little happy dance. And that's it, now I get to kick off and enjoy the rest of my holiday. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.